Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you the process of my piece It's only forever for the potion spells and magic show at Penumbra Gallery in Portugal. Real quick before we start. If you like to watch longer painting tutorials from me, head over to my Patreon page and select the $5 reward here. You get instant access to over 30 exclusive painting tutorials and I answer all of your questions. You are also the first to see my newest work, exclusive insights into my working process and my studio, and helpful art material posts. For $15 and more, you get beautiful art surprises, fine art prints, original watercolor illustrations, and much more. And thank you so much Vlada and Tracy for your name suggestions. I am pretty bad at inventing titles for my piece, so I just asked my patrons and they were amazing. When I created her, I just was thinking about The Labyrinth, one of my favorite movies, and I also listened to some retro inspired music from White Lies, and I just wanted to have a title in this spirit, in this atmosphere, and my patrons had great suggestions and great ideas so that I could get her an appropriate title. And this piece was just a very different thing from what I normally do. So usually I just use a photo reference of models I find on Instagram or on Pinterest like people. But this one is actually a doll. So I have a inspiration wall on Pinterest where I I pin all the photos that inspire me huge and like heavily and it really helped me to just when I need to make a new painting and I'm stuck that I just look at this inspiration wall and I know exactly what I have to do. At least I have a feeling or an atmosphere that I want to create. So the worst thing is if I just look at a picture and it just tell nothing to me. So I just don't feel anything and this sometimes happen to me so and then I'm pretty sad and unmotivated to do anything and just my inspiration is completely lost and I don't know what to do and this really helped me so whenever I have like a free minute or just a free 30 minutes I'm scrolling through Instagram or through Pinterest and just save paintings and images in advance so that I don't ever get in this space where I have no no ideas and feel super unmotivated so I always making sure that I have inspirations and things to paint and I recently just discovered that there are a huge range and just variety of beautiful amazing art dolls on Pinterest and I love those dolls they are so incredible oh, I wish I had them all and I can could just put them together and take pictures of them but apparently they are pretty rare and I I just try to buy some of them and the link just led me through a I don't know to a very weird website totally um, chaotic and messy and I just got totally confused and I didn't know what to do and another link led me to a Japanese website and well I was confused as well because I can't read or speak Japanese so I'm pretty much stuck with the images I found on Pinterest and for this painting because it was such a perfect theme I thought you know what I would just paint a doll I never did it and I just really wanted to do it and because the photography and the art doll is obviously not made by me I felt like the need to definitely mention the doll artist in my post on Instagram because she almost did like half of the work like the inspiration for the doll the amazing costume this doll wears and just the overall atmosphere and I just took on um, that picture and changed it a bit in Photoshop so I added some roses and also gave this um, cute girl like a flower in her hand with a butterfly on it and I also changed like uh, the crop of the image and of course I transferred into watercolor and I'm okay with it so I wouldn't feel comfortable if I would really just paint the painting exactly like the reference because I just said it it isn't like I would have done anything creative with this piece.
paste. But since this is watercolor and it really looked different than like the photo reference, I'm okay. <laughs> and I don't feel like I, I don't know, just have stolen anything or so. I think I just gave this motif a different perspective or just a different view and just created another magical piece for everyone who likes magic. And I thought this painting or this motif would be perfect for color pencils and watercolor because these little details and also just the amount of details and the fact that there is a whole figure really requests that you or that I put a lot of thoughts into the details that I work them out perfectly and also add a contrast to the abstract layers. So this was the most difficult part for me that I don't just paint it or draw it like the reference but instead find the sweet spot between the abstraction and where those abstract like patterns merge in the, into the figure and where not. So it is pretty easy to make everything abstract and it is pretty easy to just paint everything like the reference. And I really tend to overdo my pieces and I just draw and draw and draw and then at the end I totally destroyed all the beautiful abstract patterns that the watercolor just gave me and created created from itself. So what I did um, with this piece was first I watched videos from Lao Van, which I now became a huge fan of. He is amazing. I love him. And he has, I think he's go going to go to the Dokomi this year. And the Dokomi is in Düsseldorf, which is 20 minutes away from here. So I'm super excited to maybe see him. Maybe I can, I don't know, ask him some questions. So I'm pretty excited. And yeah, I watched his videos and he does this well and wet technique and I totally uh, tried that out and it, and it worked perfectly for me. So what I did is for example for the background I just made all the background wet and then I just dripped in some layers of or just yeah some drops of watercolor and let them flow and where I didn't want to have the watercolor I just didn't use water beforehand so I could pretty easily control where the watercolor just went and I couldn't control how it looks in the the end but I couldn't I could control in which areas those wet abstract areas or just abstract patterns emerged so this was super helpful for me and I think this piece really is some of my I don't know um, best pieces I feel like that at least and I just felt that I've learned something new and I will definitely use that in my newest pieces as well and for all the little details um, I basically just worked my technique that, that I usually do so so I, for example, start with a watercolor layer. Then I add a color pencil layer. Then usually it is too light and then I have to add another watercolor layer and so on and so on. If all the color values are like the reference or like I want them to be. But with this piece, because I did a watercolor tutorial recently for my patrons, where I really, really uh, gave my best to make a perfect face, I kind of rediscovered how to use color pencils again. So I basically, with all my watercolor pieces, pretty much drew very roughly with my color pencil. So I just, in the flow of the moment, I'm I would have just filled out an area and pressed heavily to fill out this area pretty quickly but I remember that to get a nice and soft surface to get a beautiful unique kind of area you have to start very careful and with low pressure I mean it is a no-brainer but because I'm a unpatient unpa person most of the time I don't do that so I'm starting roughly and then in the end I'm the result is a mess and then I have to correct it but with this one I really concentrated and focused and I didn't start roughly and it worked out so beautifully so I will totally use that this for my further watercolor paintings because it definitely saves time it saves time because you don't have to correct afterwards in the beginning it's really a slow process and you don't really see much in the footage you just see the painting slowly emerging from a blurry image of colors but in the end it works together and the 
image just come together and it really was a very nice process for me and I was happy with it and so I just want to remind you that you have to be concentrated all the time and if you can't concentrate just make a break this is what I really force me to do if I think oh I just have to do this and that and then my painting is finished but I'm so tired and I can't concentrate don't do it stop painting take a break even a nap I'm pretty much um, really crazy with naps so sometimes for a week or for two weeks I have to take a nap every day I don't know between 12 a.m. and 5 p.m. so this is really crazy so I just go to bed and I fall asleep instantly this is like a I don't know secret skill I have I, <laughs> I fall asleep instantly it takes maybe five minutes and then I can sleep like half an hour or even 10 minutes and after that I'm kind of recovered so I have like gotten back half of my energy and then I can do whatever I wanted to do before but I was too tired to do it so I can totally do recommend naps or just a break with healthy food just to get the best artwork you can because making the best artwork you can is really the most important thing as an artist promotion or your social media following or everything else is important but your art is the most important thing and everything that keeps you from not giving your best and not allowing you to give your best you have to eliminate it <laughs> so <laughs> and if this is discipline then it has to be discipline and you just have to go through it and give your best because in the end it makes you happy at least it does it for me so i'm super super happy with this piece and i want to I want all my future pieces to be like that too. I hope it will um, go like I want it, but you never know. And to come back to the dolls, I really would love to have some of these dolls sometime. So if you know a place where one can buy those, except for eBay, just let me know in the comments or if you know maybe great photography of dolls, um, I would love to see that too. With this painting, I couldn't really ask the doll artist, which is by the way, of course, I have to mention her, because she is just amazing. Her name is Alisa Filipova and she makes all these amazing magical fairy tale like dolls and I think she's from St. Petersburg in Russia. This is what I read so far but she doesn't have a website or so I, I can't contact her. Very unfortunate but I think those dolls are too expensive anyways because obviously they are beautiful art dolls. So and I hope you have a very inspiring week ahead of you and you are now excited to create your own new different artworks and give your best for your pay paintings and drawings and if you like to get an exclusive print of this painting so I will have a limited edition print of her in my shop um, just follow the link in the description and you can take one print home and yeah I hope you like this video if you do so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you on the next one bye bye